All right, guys, welcome to episode 164 of Dope Talk TV is yours truly low key. Got John here with me and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go over to Patreon, check us out. Go get yourself some motherfucking merch if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, welcome back. It's a beautiful Tuesday. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Shit. I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. You know how we do it. it. I hear it, man. Chilling. Beautiful Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Back in there, bit. It's a beautiful motherfucking Tuesday. Ba 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 ba. Round of applause to the Tuesday people, man. Round of applause to the people, you know what I'm saying? That still feel like it's Monday. I feel you. Yeah, <laughs> man. Shout out to the alcoholics that's gonna go out tonight and drink. Because hey, y'all alcoholics I'm with you If nah. you don't I'll drink for you Nah 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 I'm just playing bro <laughs> I've been slowing down man I've been slowing down I've been drinking like Maybe like Four or five beers a night On the weekend You know what I mean Good Instead bro. of a whole Fucking Henny bottle Yeah It's a difference man You know A few brews will get me right now Like Yeah I don't gotta right. I don't gotta sit here And fucking Drown myself With fucking Henny and And all this extra shit Like I'll do it At a barbecue Don't get me wrong You see me at a barbecue I'm getting lit Oh no, yeah, yeah. I might just throw if I'm at a party, in the barbecue, you know what I'm saying? If I'm at a party, I'm getting lit. You know, but if it's like a weekend, like you gotta stop having that habit of like fucking drinking every weekend just because it's the weekend. Facts. You know, That's it's a fact. and it's hard because I love to drink, guys. I fucking do. <laughs> I fucking do. Nah, I love you just, it. It's like anything, bro. You just gotta have some self control, bro. You gotta have some self control. Yeah. Real talk. You know what I mean? But listen, man, I want to get straight into the first topic, bro. It's, and I'm not going to cap with y'all, man. I saw this shit scrolling down Instagram, and I was like, you know what? That's actually an interesting topic. And this girl was saying that peace feels like boredom when you were raised in chaos. And I was like, man, that's deep. Yeah. Peace will feel like it's boring when you were raised in a fucking chaotic household. And it's facts, bro, because I have different friends from different walks of life. And you go to their house, and their house is so fucking crazy. And you're like, God damn, it's always something going on. There's always someone yelling, someone doing this, someone doing that. And then when you go to a house where it's quiet, it seems boring. It's always fun. Like, I'm bored, but it's it's just peace. Like, there's no chaos going on. That's why it feels boring, but it's like, that's just what you're accustomed to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so true. That is kind of true. Facts, nigga. Like that, is that ca- shit. I was like, that's facts. Damn, that is deep. That is pretty deep. Because you're so I mean, used to chaos. You're so used to shit going on. You're so used to all this shit going. Yeah. Like when there's know, nothing going, you're like, what the fuck is going on? What happened? Like what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, man. Nah, that is true, bro. That is true. Because when I'm chilling and I'm fucking relaxed, I'm like, bro, like I gotta do something. I gotta be toxic. Nah, <laughs> hold on. Let me text. Let me te- let me text Suzanne over here, and then let me text fucking Jessica. Just the fucking, uh, you know, you know what I mean. I don't know either of them. I'm just bullshit, but you know what I mean. He knows both of them. I know, but, or it's maybe you. it's you. He's talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, but it's just that was a really, really good point, and it's true, man. It's like, damn, bro. Like sometimes peace may feel like it's boring, but. You yeah, know, you know, this life goes, the days, I mean? man, like I like to go to the beach and just be peaceful and relax. Like, right. I, you know what I mean? To someone else, that might be boring as fuck. Like, what do you go to the beach for, bro? Get all sandy, bro. And it's like, bro, this is my piece. Like, go enjoy your piece. If I your just, piece is like shaking your dreads in the club, like, good for you. It's like this guy right here on the fucking screen. That's me right there. Just fucking hanging you out. You can't see that oh, shit you in can't either see screen, oh. but yeah. <laughs> nah, there's a guy. There's a guy on the screen just sitting on the beach by himself. Nah, that nigga's bull. Yo, he's lonely and shit, but bored. he's... He's looking at Saturn right now, bitch. <laughs> For real, man. Nah, facts, guys. But just remember that, man. If you grew up in a chaotic household, sometimes, you know what I mean? Peace might feel like that. Straight up. Straight the Straight fuck up. up, guys. But another fucking fact is that solitude can be dangerous, man. Solitude what, what can does be that mean? dangerous. I feel like I heard Jim Carrey talk about it one time, and the way he was saying it was like, like being alone can become dangerous at one point because of how peaceful it gets. And then you don't want nobody to disturb that peace that you built. So it's really hard to let people in. That's how he was explaining. I was like, yo, that's fucking facts. It's like, like once you get to a point where it's like, bro, like this is my peace. And then you let people in and they start disrupting it. You don't even want people around no more. You're like, nah, bro. Like I want to be chill. Like I don't want to be worried about this or worried about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to be 
peace and peace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, exactly. But it could be dangerous because like what he said is like then you start pushing people away just because you don't want like you don't even want the possibility of them disrupting you, you, the peace. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's just another deep topic, man. Like, yeah, bro. True. I mean, yeah, when you're that's me right now, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I've been alone for a while, bro. Like being single. I like to be honest with you, like I haven't really been in like a real long term relationship. And I know that sounds toxic because it is. You know what I mean? You don't. There's some people that just don't like commitment and they just Facts. like being by themselves and having that peaceful time by yeah. themselves. And yeah, like you said, man, after a while, you just don't want it that's to change, me, bro. And that's why you yeah. like people say that you start getting like picky or you're just like, like picky in a partner and shit. And it's like, it's not that I'm picky, bro. It's just that I know what I want and that isn't what I want. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it's not something that's adding to my peace. It's like it's disrupting it, and, it, and yeah. that's the difference. It's I like if you're adding to pe to my peace yeah. and, and my comfort, cool. But if you're not, then you get like you gotta go. You can't stick around. And sometimes I'm weird too because like sometimes I like I don't like it done to me, but like I'll do it to other people, like to other girls and shit. Like we'll make an we'll make an agreement on like all right, we're just friends with benefits or something like that. And then you catch after, yeah. After you smash, you're like, you know what? Like, now nah, you get, you, I get a little bit jealous. Yeah, bullshit, I, I get a little bit jealous. I'm like, you know what? And then you start realizing, like, whoa, 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 what am I doing? You know, like I thought I wanted my time and just keep it separate, and we don't gotta like be in each other's face all nah, the time. But like, see, that goes deeper because you know? that's that new age bullshit yeah. that they've been putting into our brain for the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, it's like, bro, you don't need nobody. You don't need, like, no, bro. As humans, we have natural instincts. And that's why you want, like, don't nobody want to be alone for real. Being alone is peaceful. But at some point, that you want some company. You want to yeah. be able to bounce ideas off of somebody else. You want to yeah. be able to fucking, even if y'all both just shut the fuck up and look at a screen for an hour. Like, you want some company. Yeah, you know yeah. And that's like, what I explained there, too, was just like, yo, like. I want to have that female vibe, you know, like yeah. it's different between just going out like because if I really wanted just to hang out, I could have just called my bro and just hang out. But like I told her, I explained her, I was like, yo, like I, I need that female vibe. And mm -hmm. she's just like, yo, I totally get that. Nah, yeah. Like, and that's you know? the thing, man. Like as a grown ass man, bro, it's like I'm not trying to fuck every time I'm chilling with a girl. Yeah, not all the like, time. I don't know. Like. We talked about it before. Women's sex drive is way higher than guys. Like, you'd be surprised how much of the time I'm really not trying to have sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about it. It's yeah, like, yeah. It, I'm really just trying to fucking kick it and get a different vibe. Yeah. Like, I could go hit up three of my boys and we could go hit a bar. But that's a different vibe than taking a female out. You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's just like, y'all vibe different. Like, it's a different conversation. It's a different level of connection, even if it's a friendship. Yeah. Because there's shit that you might be able to tell your girl best friend that your boy's best friend will make fun of you for. Because, ah, oh, nigga, tighten up, bro. Stop being a bitch. But yeah. she's going to really listen to you like, nah, bro, it's fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, just, like, there's levels, bro. Yeah, that is true. And also, like, I feel like you can't really open up to too many females, too. Hell no. Sometimes. You Bro, know the, what I mean? The king is selective about who he goes and fucks. The yeah. king don't just fuck any peasant bitch. And like, Let's you know. Let's be real, bro. Like, you got to be, you got to be exclusive. Like, there has to be a mystery about you, bro. Yeah. That's what a lot of men miss. Just like how we don't like a female that's been ran through, they don't either. Yeah. They might fuck you. Yeah. It's the same exact mindset. They yep. might fuck you, bro, but they ain't trying to get with you. Yeah, no. Nah. They ain't trying to build on with you. Yeah, they're not. They're not. No. Nah. And that's what men need to understand too. Be exclusive. Be more exclusive, bro. Yeah. Only fuck with certain females, and don't even let them see each other like that. Let yeah, their no. mind wander. I'm the type of you know dude what I'm like, like real shit. You I'm let their mind wander, bro. That's just like it, it's the truth is always going to be more lame than what they think is going on. And I'm not, yeah. And I'm and the thing is, I'm not even trying to like see you. Like I'm not trying to be with you in public in certain areas. So like, if I take you out and you want to go out somewhere, I'm going to make sure I don't, I'm not going to be seen by no one. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, and I'm gonna be honest with you, and that should this be and us, no, asshole, us men, bro. us men, like you nah, know, nah, nah, yeah, you're nah, you, you bro. gotta, you gotta, like, you gotta set your cards right. You know, there's some women you want to yes, be seen in public with. 
Yeah, and then there's some where it's like, and some like, mm, you know what, honey? Like, it's like nah. we could just chill. We could just chill. We'll vibe. We'll go somewhere that's like forty miles away from my fucking house. Yeah, nah, and for real. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went, I'm not gonna go down Saint Cloud, bitch. No, nah, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I went on a date one time, bro, and I, I went downtown and. My dumb, my dumb ass, bro. I worked downtown for like four years, so you know I know everybody. So I'm walking down there. Like, oh, John! Hey, who's this? <laughs> hey, come grab a cigar. You know, you know, a little right there on the balcony of Corona. You're walking down. You're like motherfucker. You know, and and that's not a good sign too. I remember, I remember this girl was like, "Wow, you know everyone." Bro, and I was just like, "There's no mystery about you. Everybody knows you. Everybody fucking could come up to you." There, I'm telling you, bro. Being exclusive. How many times you've done this? Being exclusive is different, man. It's like when they know, when they feel like they know everything about you, or like everybody already knows you, or like, like there's a certain turnoff already. It's like, uh, like he's accessible. He's easily accessible. No. Any other bitch could come in and have access to him. And they're addicted to the highs and lows. Like it's like a roller coaster. You know, they're addicted to the highs and lows, like always. Like, if they know, like, oh, yeah, John's going to fucking text me, or he's going to text me good night, or he's going to text me good morning, have a great day. Like, they already know your routine. They know how you are. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just a nice guy all the time. Nah, it's boring. It's boring. Like, I don't want to fucking talk to you every day. Like, I'm sorry. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, what could we possibly be fucking talking about all day, day in and day? How are you doing? Hey, what you doing? Oh, good morning. Oh, good night. How was work? I don't give a fuck. Like, no lie, bro. And it might sound fucked up, ladies. I'm sorry if it sounds a certain type of way to you, but I'm just real. I'm me. But it's like, I feel like that's why I haven't found the right woman for me yet, too. I've come across women where it's like, yo, I'm feeling you. You know what I'm saying? You're a good woman. You you, you got shit together. You, you know, you got your own shit going, whatever. But it's like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's like, too many men get on a woman's program. And I'm not that that man. I'm the man where it's like, you need to get on my program. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if, yeah. If that's not how it's going, then you're not the one for me. And it's like, you know what? Like, I just, I can't be with nobody that has, like, at least a decent work ethic. Yeah. Like, the work ethic has to be there. Like, and don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not, like, the most perfect person and the most hardworking guy in the world. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, I think, I think my work ethic is there, you know? Yeah, no, and, for sure. like, there's some women that just, like, I'm like, man, how are you 30 years old? You got no place to stay on your own. You got kids. Or if you don't have kids, you don't got your license. Or if you don't got your license, you don't got a car. It's like, yo, like, how are you even, like, surviving right now? And that's the other thing. That's the crazy part. That's exactly that good point that you brought up, bro. That's a good point because that ties into what I just said before where it's like, as a man, you need to have your shit together to be able to talk like this. Yeah. You, like, you can't just be... At mom's house doing this and that and the third and fucking working a part time and seeing what you're going to do about your future. Yeah. You, need to, you need to be in action with a plan in action. Yeah. For a woman to want to follow you. That's the difference. Like when you're a good leader, people will follow. When you're a shit leader, they won't want to follow. And that's all it comes down to. Like a lot of niggas complain about these women. Bro, a lot of women are willing to follow their man and support their man. But you got to be a man, nigga. And you got to fucking, you got to be able to, like, you got to be able to really sustain certain things on your own. Like, you can't need her for help. Yeah. If you need her to move in to help you, it's already, she's already at the, has the advantage. Yep. No cap. Like, that's just how I feel as a man. You know what I'm saying? It might be different for women. I don't know. The way I think, man, I'm not going to get married. I'm not going to do, I'm not, there's a lot of things I'm not going to do without money. Facts. And that's like how men think it, Logical n n Not a lot of them though I know a lot of them are just going like You hey, know bro, and it's like think? And it's like yo like If I can't afford a certain thing Right now at this moment And Let's just say Let's just Let's just put this out there Let's just say that I can't afford To get married If I can't afford, afford to get married baby You're gonna have to hold it down Until we, we're able to have a A, a nice wedding you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to sit here and waste my last fucking dime. Yeah, a lot of people do. To start over. To mm -hmm. start over. To start over for what? Nah. For what? what what's what's going to make the difference between right now and then because I got a rank? What? A rank's going to make things better? No, it's not. I agree. No, I completely agree, bro. It's not. I completely agree. And it's it's going to hurt some fucking feelings. Listen, some people man, ain't going to like it. But It's not even about, like, I will get married. It just has to be 
it has to be the right woman, the right circumstances. We got to have an understanding and we got to be trying to build the right, uh, be building on the same page. Like, yeah. but that's the hard part because to, like, it, but what you just said is true. Is like, if you can't afford to get married and by afford to get married, bro, niggas don't understand what it means to afford to get married. Yeah. Right. Bro. You get married, right? You get married. The wedding is a, is a certain amount of money. Boom. So you already spent that. You haven't even started talking about fucking kids yet, bro. Bruh. That I've said it two times on here before. The average kid, by the time they hit 18, you spend a quarter million dollars on one kid. By the time they turn 18. We're not talking about college yet, bro. So let's say you have three kids, bro, with this girl. Yep. Can you afford to spend $750,000 in the next 18 years? Because if you can't, nigga, then don't fucking have your kid, bro. Because that's yeah. the average. Yeah. That's not getting them the fly swag clothes. That's not sending them to the private school. That's just the average child. It costs a quarter million dollars to raise by, until they turn 18. So think about that. How many kids are you really trying to have? Is she going to be working? That's another thing. A lot of females don't want to be working. All right, baby, so you don't want to be working. Then I really got to fucking grind and make sure that there's businesses running or whatever the fuck it is to make sure you're not working to make up for your fucking part. Yeah, people don't. People, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but it goes you deep, know what it bro. is, though? You know what? It, I just came to the conclusion that, like, just some people just really don't care about if they're going to be struggling or not. Or they really, really have like they just they have really, no hope. They really think like their own, like their own job that they have is gonna really like support them to the max of like to their capabilities or, or their wants and their needs and and all this stuff. Like if you don't have anything else besides your job and you want a certain amount of money or you want a certain like a nice house and and all this stuff, like nowadays it's hard. You're not gonna be able to get what you want with just the the, the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. But you know what the thing is, bro? Some people are happy with the bare minimum and, and they don't and want they don't have that ambition. Yeah. And it's okay, bro. I'm starting to realize that like guys like us, bro, we get damn near upset, like angry at our friends that don't think like us. But it's like nigga, they don't have a business mind. They don't have the they don't have the CEO mentality. They have the manager mentality. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a difference. And there's a difference, bro. Yeah, and you know, and then it's cool. It's cool and all. But going back to it, what I said, I think at the end of the episode of like last episode, it's like, yo, just just because you don't want money, don't make you humble. Yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. No, nah, real shit, real shit. Just because you like, oh no, it's okay. It's like because I, I used to date a girl. I used you, to think like that. To me, that makes you a little bit weak. Yeah, it's like you're already you're already coming up with shit in your mind to why it it's not gonna work or it won't work. Or maybe you're just trying to put off this persona so that if it doesn't work, people don't think less of you. Exactly. You're, like, you're afraid to fail. It's yeah. like you're yeah, it's like you're afraid of people being like, oh, it didn't work for him. Yeah. So if you say, Oh, I'm not really trying, then people don't really think you're trying. So it doesn't matter if it works or not, because you're not trying. But it's like, fuck that, nigga. And, yeah. If you're gonna do it, do it. If you're not, don't. I used to date a girl like that. She used to be like, Oh, like, you know, you need to get your head out of cloud nine. It's because I wanted really, really nice stuff. I like nice stuff. And nice stuff costs money in this world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, she thought, like, oh, just because she didn't want it, she was humble. And it was just like, yo, like, that's not, I'm sorry. You're different. I'm nah, different. But see, the difference, is, like, wanting r nice things doesn't make you arrogant. Yeah. What makes you arrogant is being arrogant. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, I like nice things. It's like, liking nice things doesn't make you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it doesn't make you arrogant. I would, yeah. I it's mean, I was, the way I your guess, persona and how you come off, that's what it's like. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm the shit and can't no nigga see me and I'm fucking big dick fucking, like that attitude is what women will be like, all right, nigga, relax. Yeah. Because it's like, you're, like you're really not that yeah that's what you're telling yourself but it's like in their perception it's like you're not that bro well, there's a lot of girls that would try to bring you down that my point is is that's like facts. there's going to be a lot of women and men vice versa that are going to try to bring you down and you know what i mean they want they don't want to see you at your full potential or like you know grow as a person yeah, so facts bro like, now, i'm going through that now it's like the know? more confident you get the more arrogant people say you are yeah like fuck you i don't give a fuck if you think i'm arrogant or not suck my dick because i'm not the same i'm you not the same job you didn't have to go through ago. what i had to go through to get to where i'm at today yeah you didn't so the fact that i feel the way i feel i'm proud of me bro 
Yeah, like I'm proud of me. I beat the odds, nigga. I beat prison system. I beat being in a fucking grave somewhere, nigga. Like yeah. for real. Statistics. When you start beating them, bro, yeah. you should beat your fucking chest a little bit. Yeah. Like damn, nigga, I should have been dead or in prison by now. Fuck y'all, niggas. Exactly. Real talk. Yeah, because you know when I told I told her I said yo I, I'm tired of living at mom's. I ain't trying to do this shit. Next time Word. you see me or you, you whatever, I'm I'm not gonna be here. You know, because I was embarrassed. You know, I. I had I was but that's the man in you, bro. Yeah. And there's niggas that are 35 years old that still aren't men. Yeah. Your age doesn't make you a fucking man. Yeah. So so when it happened, when it happened, bro, she she wrote me. She's like, wow, you were actually right. You're true. Like you're true to what you said. And like, congrats. Like you actually said you're gonna move out and you did it. You know. And that was the last time I heard from her. And that was it. And everything's gotten better ever since. Which is crazy. You know balls, what I mean, bro. When so, you let go of toxic shit, bro, shit starts getting better, bro. Shit That's starts how getting that shit better, goes, bro. bro. For real, for real. Real talk. But now, nah, bro, we should be proud of ourselves. And like I said, people will hear us talking like this and be like, "All these arrogant motherfuckers. Who do they think they are?" And, and, and the crazy shit is, it'll be especially people that know us. Oh yeah, it'll it happened be to me the, the people other day. that know you. You know what I'm saying? When you're humble, they love you. When you start getting confident, they start feeling a certain type of way. And it's like, nigga, you get confident. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't fucking shit on me because I feel like I'm like I'm good at what I do. Yeah, I had. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, go get good at what you do, and then fucking talk shit. Like, you're good at what you do, nigga. That's yeah. what you do. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, like, and I had somebody comment. I remember one time I said something on Facebook. I'm not gonna say the name because I got respect. You know what I mean? But you know who you are. And basically, like, he was just saying, like, oh, you know, you know it all. You think you know it all? Mm -hmm. He posted that on my Facebook. Oh, you think you know it all, man? And I was like, bro, like, I'm not afraid to say my opinion. Like, I'm going to say what I have to say. And if you don't like it, then oh, well, if, I, if you like it, then congrats. You know, but like, I don't know it all. I'm just not afraid. Nobody to knows say, it all. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just stating my opinion. And if you don't like it, then oh, well, say you don't like it. You know, but like for you to just really say that. And then like, I hit him with being positive. Like, I didn't even reply to it. I wrote him. You know what I did? I wrote him and I said, hey, bro, how are you, bro? Are you Kill good? him with kindness, bro. And he's like, like that's, that, people don't ever see that angle coming. Yeah. They see the, yo, get the fuck off my DM, bitch, nigga. That's what they see coming. Yeah. But when you're like, yo, bro, you all right, bro? Yeah. You good? Like, that's like, what are I, you that's, straight, bro? That's how I came out and I wrote him. I was like, yo, bro, you okay? Like, when are you moving to Florida? Facts, moving back to like, Florida. Are you still in Texas? He's just like, nah, like, uh, nah, I'm not moving back to Florida. I don't like it, bro. I was like, oh, man, I hope you're doing good. And that was that. You know, and his energy was different. You know what I mean? When he was talking to me, like through through the DM when I was writing him, because I came at him like that. I didn't come at him like, oh, why, why would you do that? Why would you? You know, he's probably thinking in his head like, wow, this guy's like, he's mature. You know what I mean? Like, that's how you got to handle. You got to kill him with nicest, man. So Yeah, bro. You got to kill him with kindness, bro. And just listen, man, every react, every action doesn't deserve a reaction. That's the other thing. It's like sometimes it's like you just look at what it's like, all right, cool. That's your opinion, bro. Like whether I'm right or whether you're right, it, nigga, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Like man. everybody just has to be right now. It's like they have to be right. And it's like, nigga, it's okay to be like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't know. Real talk. Like nobody knows everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we listen to our elders and we listen to certain people and people that we think that they know what they're doing and we try to apply it and sometimes it don't work but it's because it's like it's life bro somebody could give you a blueprint on how to build a table right now and you might you might fuck it up it might not come out exactly how the blueprint was you might be missing a screw you know what i'm saying and you use another screw to whatever you got to apply your own shit like you got to pick up little shit from other people and they'll be like okay that might not work for me but this will so let me try to apply that you know what i'm saying yeah but that's how that shit goes, man. That's how that shit goes. Man, people's fucking life, man. People wonder why they're fucking negative too and fucking upset all all the fucking time. Maybe you can, maybe you should just watch your diet and watch what the fuck you're eating too. Nah, that's a fact. Bro. Because niggas want to act like oh, like this and that, like bro, like what you eat is how you're gonna feel the next day. That's Trust facts. me. Because I you have I, no I, veggies and fucking fruit in your shit, bro. Like yeah, nah, you're definitely gonna feel like shit. You know what I mean, man. You notice, bro. You know, when I eat some Chinese food, bro, and you wake up the next day, you're like, man, fuck if that. If you eat, bro, and you get tired, that wasn't a, that wasn't a healthy plate. You know what I mean? And, that then, and then, like, last night. Food is supposed to give you energy. Last, it's not supposed to put you to sleep. Last night, I was like, yo, like, man, I want to hit the drive through And then I was like, nah, you know what? I'm tired of that. You know, let me just let me just go home. I got fruit at the crib. Let me just eat, eat some fruit. I ate, I ate a whole bunch of raspberries, blueberries, mm -hmm. ate some strawberries and shit like that. Went to sleep. Woke Word. up. I felt. 
You feel good. You feel yeah. good. It's crazy. It's true, man. Like people think like you eat some fast food for the rest of your life, you're gonna be good. No, bro. Eventually, like you're, you're gonna get to the point where it's like, bro, your 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 blood pressure is high. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're obese. Or like, you know, shit's gonna diabetes, stuff like that. Like it gets serious, bro. Like we really gotta start taking care of our bodies, man. And it's gonna affect us inside and out, not just the inside, you know? It's gonna affect our mood, it's gonna affect how we feel, our energy, sex drive, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? So that's my little rant. Round of applause, man. Round of applause. John says, stop being a fat fucking piece of shit. And I eat my shit. I eat some shit. You know what I mean? But I eat it all. I even eat ass. (laughs) <laughs> nah for real But listen man One thing I wanted to touch bases on real quick bro Is like A lot of people nowadays bro Everybody got a fucking camera in their face And everybody feels like the world revolves around them It's like bitch look to your left and look to your right There's people around you Yep Be kind be courteous You know what I'm saying Have a good heart Do things out of love Don't do things just to try to get something out of somebody Yeah You know what I'm saying Like I don't know, bro. We live in a really fucked up in a fucked up time, where people are so ego egocentric. Like it's all about them, bro. I don't understand that shit. It's like, nigga, you should be thinking about your fucking mom, or you know, what I'm saying your future family, or what something. You know, what I'm saying like it can't always like. Of course, nigga. Rule one hundred and one of survival is you gotta take care of yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that's rule one hundred and one. You have to make sure you're good to make sure everybody else is good. Yep. Too. But remember everybody else too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the part where people forget. It's like, like nigga, there's other people. There's other people that you know what I'm saying are looking up to you that could benefit from you. That you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things going on, and a lot of shit be outside of our own perspective. Like, we don't even be looking at it like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you might have some family nigga that they need you to talk to them, and you don't. Even, you haven't even visited for four months. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they need that talk though, bro. And you're just like, oh, whatever. Like they'll figure it out. Like I figured it out. But that's not the right mentality to have because it's like, if everybody's just gonna do the next person how the person before them did them, then the whole world's just gonna be fucked. Everybody's gonna have an eye missing. It's like that eye for eye mentality. Everybody will be blind. It's facts. Eye for eye, nigga. Everybody's gonna be blind. Oh, you took my eye? I'm going to take your eye. Then I'm going to go take that nigga's eye. You're going to take my other eye. Then the other nigga's going to take his eye. Everybody's going to be fucking blind. Just yeah. trying to get back at each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like... You think about it. There's a lot of bad people, but there's also a lot of good people. Like, nah, you facts. know, And the bad people... Big and there's a, there's a lot more negativity than there is in, than there is positive, if you notice. You know what I mean? It should yeah, be the pessimi- opposite. It should, it should I wouldn't be the opposite. Be, say negative. They're just pessimistic. Like, it should be the opposite. Like pessimistic people, bro, they always see the problem, not the solution. Yep. Like you'll bring up an idea, business idea. Oh, it won't work because of this. Oh, be careful. Watch out for this. Oh, do this. And it's like, nigga, like, just let me start first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might not run into any of those problems, but you're trying to put those in my my way already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had somebody tell me the other day, they're like, hey, man, watch what you say, man, on the podcast, man. You know, they or, 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 you know, something that you post, you know, they might screenshot and use it against you later on. I'm like, honestly, bro, like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No, that's a fact. Yo, guys, when we say that, bro, I don't think you really really understand that. I really mean it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, it is what it is, bro. Like, like, if don't y'all try like to scare it, me. y'all like it. If you don't, you don't. If they take it down, they take it down. There's been f- plenty yeah. videos of ours they've already taken down. Yeah. Like, that's not the fucking issue, bro. Yeah. You that is the point like, of dope talk, bro. We're going to exactly, say what we got to like, say, bro. And round that's, of applause that's, that. that's what we got to do. Round of applause we, that. we do it for y'all. We don't do it, we don't do it for ourselves because we could just sit in a room and talk to ourselves all day. Nah. Yeah, facts. I, got, I have these conversations off camera already. Yeah. No cap. So I literally have these same exact conversations off camera. I don't need a recorder for y'all to see it, but... We do because we do, it for y'all. we do it for you guys, bro. Y'all are, y'all are the main, you know what I'm saying? The main reason. But I'll tell y'all what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go over to Patreon. Check us out over there and get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, last but not least, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>